how was it when you came back to the streets to see how it is now? Well, well I didn't have to wait till I came back to the street because they was coming in prison. <laughs> so I'm, I'm watching, I'm hearing the stories, these cats and how they're coming in, got this new phrase they use, getting down first, and it's acceptable. So when I, I gave my life to Christ, I'll never forget it. It was in the, the uh, mid-90s. I'm helping this youngster. I have many youngsters with their 29, 15, their legal work. Mm -hmm. So that's why I coach basketball, baseball, and uh, I'm preaching and all. But I'm still staying engaged with the young people because I love it, you know, and uh so, but I'm doing the legal work and I'm coaching basketball. So this one guy uh, that's on my team and the other guy, he, he, they running out court. He says, Skinner, throw me the ball. I says, Skinner. I go back, look at that legal work. Skinner the one took the witness stand on it. He got 10 years, you got 25. So, and then I called him on the yard walking with these, these uh, 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 crips. I told him, I said, if I catch you with these guys again, I'm hitting your legal work back. Because I'm not charging you anything. Christ has me doing this for you because what I was doing, I was working the principal, sowing and reaping. I'm helping somebody's son in prison, somebody help mine on the street because I can't be there and they can't be with theirs in here. So I protected guys, kept them from getting raped a lot of them, this, that, and other, stopping fights. And I paid a few debts and, and to keep the knife plays down. And, and I just tell the guys, you know, uh, uh, don't do business with them anymore. And don't you go out there anymore. If he asks you, because uh, neither one was pumps. Both of them were killed. I'm just trying to keep the peace. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then, so that snitching thing in the prison, so I didn't have to wait till I come home to hear about it. You know, and, and because in my mind, was this, and this is how I thought, in 19, I'll never forget it, 1988, close to 89, Jerry Lewis, Jerry Lewis Bay and all of them was getting knocked off different ways, they was telling on each other, uh, everybody, and I didn't like Jerry Lewis Bay, but I didn't like the way they did him, because I'm true to the game. Now, when your brother started telling on you, all your comrades, you know, start giving them up, and uh, uh, I'm like, man, what's happening with this? And then I saw other guys, oh, his, uh, that was true gangster, hitting the pipe and telling on each other. And so I'm, I'm sitting there in 1980, I was telling a friend of mine, uh, we was, I was in Pacific Prison, the Missouri Eastern Correction Center. And I was just saying, man, if I can't figure out a way to sell this stuff and don't talk to anybody, I might be done. And I pondered it, racked my brain, and just can't come up with the method. I said, because I'm going to have to talk to one person. I even thought about the Contras and Fur, they, you know, that movie, everybody got hoods on, sitting mm -hmm. around the table like this, here, the conference table. You know, nobody knows who's up on the hood, but all is a part of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so, and I'm the only one that knows everybody. You know, and all kind of stuff, but I couldn't figure it out. So, cause I said, man, what I saw here, the young people coming to jail, tell them just getting down first, and they telling each other, and then they happy go lucky, and, and you know. I was like, man, ain't no honor in this thing. So I, I said, man, I'm gonna have to quit. Or I'm gonna be, when I go home, the streets will be full of bodies. Because I won't be playing. Because exactly. I, I got a life sentence for something I didn't do. Yeah. I know they can't get their hands on me again. It's death row. You know, so I got to play for keeps. And the thing was, I couldn't figure it out. So this 1988, 89, everybody getting bust. I'm watching Al Payne and all of them. Women flipping on them, on him. Because I said, can't use the women anymore. The cats is too stupid. They tell them like part of going up, and it's acceptable, and they still hang out with them. And they say, well, he didn't tell on me. Man, once some person tell. Hey, he, 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 he told you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't told on you, yeah. So when I got to seeing that kind of thinking, I said, I, I won't last. Either I'm going to be caught up on a lot of murders, or they're going to tell me, get me here, here up, get my street, because I, now my, my crazy thinking, that's my crazy thinking. But they never caught me. I walked and turned myself into a frame job. Mm -hmm. Never had a federal case, never had that, that one possession I had at, at 17 and at, at 18. Uh, but my crazy thinking, the devil said, you can do this thing one more time, Dennis. I said, the way these youngsters are out here, the way the game is, you've been and got you 10 million right quick in nine months and got in and got out. 